Hello and welcome back to Go Visit Castles. This time we've travelled to Herefordshire to explore one of the best medieval military fortresses in England. This is Goodrich Castle. Goodrich, or Godric's castle, takes its name from the Saxon landowner, Godric Mapson. He became the Lord of King William's land here in 1086. Goodrich was a timber structure back then and was strategically placed to guard the line of the former Roman road from Gloucester into Wales. Not surprisingly, none of the original structure remains, but it may have been one of a number of Saxon fortifications that were built along the border into Wales. When you first enter Goodrich Castle, you walk into this massive barbican, and this is the castle's first line of defence. Right then, Goodrich Castle's gatehouse. It had a drawbridge and a drawbridge pit is right here. It was double gated with two huge oak doors. It had not one, but two portcullises and it's got two very convenient murder holes. All in all, it's got everything you'd want to see in a gatehouse and I absolutely love it. This wonderful Norman keep is the oldest part of the Goodrich Castle and it dates from around 1130. And like many of these smaller Norman keeps, it wasn't actually designed to be lived in, but acted as a last line of defence if the castle became under attack. Yeah, you can tell how old it is. Look at the Norman masonry up there. That is incredible, isn't it? Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Let's go and have a look. Oh, look how small it is. Wow, look at this. It is small. The great keep here at Goodrich has an alternative name, Macbeth's Tower. According to the local stories, an Irish chieftain by the name of Macbeth was captured and he was held prisoner here in the dungeon of this castle below the keep and he died when he was trying to make his escape. His ghost can still be heard wandering the rooms of the keep above. During the English Civil War, when the castle was being besieged, lovers Alice and Clifford took refuge here in the castle. When Cromwell's armies attacked, Alice and Clifford fled the castle on horseback. And as they tried to make their escape over the river Wye down below, a flash flood hit the valley and the drowned lovers were swept away. Now, whenever there's a storm at the castle, the cries of the lovers can be heard over the castle walls. During the reign of King Richard I and his brother John, the castle was transferred to William Marshall, the Earl of Pembroke. 
Marshall expanded the castle's curtain wall, and in 1216 he was forced to leave Henry III's coronation feast in Gloucester to return to the castle and reinforce it against imminent attacks from the Welsh. By the mid-1320s, England was in the midst of the Dispenser Wars, with Hugh Dispenser the Younger being despised by the barons because of the influence that he held over King Edward II. The Dispenser lands were attacked by the powerful marcher lords, but when the Dispensers were victorious, they took the castle's owner, Elizabeth de Comyn, prisoner, and they forced her on pain of death to sign the castle over to them. Elizabeth only had the castle returned to her when Queen Isabella returned from France. And Isabella deposed not only the dispensers, but King of England himself. Oh, wow, look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? That's a modern stained glass window. It absolutely suits this chapel, isn't it? Fantastic, though. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is the altar because we're at the far end of the chapel. Now I've read that the altar predates the castle, that it's older than the castle itself. Do you know how old the altar here is? I don't, Joe. no. I'd be really interested to find out though. No, I don't know anything about it. If any of you know anything about the altar here at Goodrich Castle, where it came from originally, how old it actually is, please let us know in the comments because I would really love to find out. Oh, Joe, I've just noticed this arrow loop inside the chapel just here. Goes directly into the gatehouse corridor. Right in front of the portcullis groove. So if you're attacking and you managed to get through one of the gates, you would stuck behind that portcullis just there and you could have got sniped and shot at from inside the chapel. Yeah, so you can, so you can shoot your enemy, kill them, and then go back and pray for their soul as well. Absolutely. Yeah. What a splendid idea. Very convenient. <laughs> Castle, in my opinion, has some of the best military castle architecture anywhere. This is where it's at, right here. So, Joe, these pyramidal features at the bases of the towers are known as spurs, and they're quite common within Welsh castles and marcher castles. Now, what they give is the castle towers extra strength and prevent undermining. Very, very impressive, aren't they? They really, really are, and they're integrated so well into the natural bedrock that nobody's undermining those towers, are they? And they look very cool. They do look pretty cool, yeah. What an amazing castle Goodrich Castle is. If you love exploring a castle this is the perfect castle to do this in because you've got so many corridors you've got so many rooms to explore and the battlements it's like it never ends does it you just go from one place to the other exploring perfect castle for it there's a lot of children here as well today and they are having so much fun running around i've never been to a castle which has got so many super military features like this one it's mouth-watering it, it really is and the gatehouse what an amazing gatehouse. I'm a bit of a gatehouse man. Really like this gatehouse. I really, really like all the masonry actually that's here, particularly the windows. Uh, they are just so gorgeous. And there's a dungeon and you can go in the dungeon and there's a door and you won't get locked in it so you'll be fine. And there's a Norman keep. 
there is Norman Keep. And I will say again, Goodrich Castle, very lovingly looked after by English Heritage. Again, it's got a fantastic visitor centre with an amazing cafe. It has got a good cafe. It's also got some ghost stories as well. Some we, really good ghost we, stories. We tend to think that all castles will have them, but they don't. But Goodridge has got two. So that's a kind of a plus point if you like that sort of thing as well. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And do what we do. Get out and go visit castles. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>